Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Now, if you have a Samsung SmartThings hub in your home and you have a Google Home, you're kind of, you have a few options in terms of bulbs and one of those options are the Sangled Element Classic bulbs. They're a little bit cheaper than most of the smart bulbs or light bulbs out there and so it's a great option. So what I wanted to do was take a few minutes show you how to make that connection and give you the ability to control your sangled bulbs with your voice. So let's get going. All right, so this is gonna be a three part video. What you're going to be able to do here is see the time codes down at the bottom and you're going to be able to skip to the part of the process that you need. Now the first part of the process is Samsung SmartThings and Sangled, your Sangled bulb getting connected up. Now that's a connection without any Sangled hub. The second part of the process is actually related to Samsung SmartThings and your Google Home or your Google Home Mini or Max getting connected and bringing those two systems together. From there, all I'm gonna show you is some of the little customizations or features or opportunities you have once your Google Home is connected with Samsung SmartThings and therefore connected to your Sangled Bulb, what you can do specifically with that. Okay, well let's get started here in the Samsung SmartThings application. We're gonna head right in there and we're gonna go straight to the My Home section which is down at the bottom. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit add a thing or the big plus sign basically at the top. Now you have to make sure that you've already plugged in or twisted in your Sangled Element Classic Bulb here, your Sangled Bulb. And then you also have to have the switch on and then it will be found by Samsung SmartThings. That's all you need to do to have it show up. If your bulb isn't on, it's not gonna show up here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and name it Bedroom Lamp 1. Don't mind the other device that was found here by Samsung SmartThings. I was also adding something else. So go ahead, hit save up at the top right, and you're just gonna confirm that you're pairing these devices to Samsung SmartThings. Now, you can see it in the My Home Things list. Bedroom Lamp 1 is right there. I'm gonna show you, you can go in there. You just tap on the word Bedroom Lamp 1. And when you do that, you can actually tap on the bulb itself to turn it on or off. You can also hold on there or tap on the bottom right there where it says 100% and you will get the slider for the brightness here. So you can control both the brightness and the actual on off feature here directly from the thing itself. Now you can also see the recent action. So it sits there and it logs information for what you've done on the device. And then you can also see the smart apps that it's associated with. Now, I happen to have my Alexa app already turned on here in Samsung SmartThings. So as a bulb, it was instantly added to that smart app. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to do some automation here. Obviously, you can work within the scenes, you can work within the routines, you can work within a number of things. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit scenes here, add a scene. I'm just gonna call this one reading time and my bedroom lamp is going to be added to it and I'm gonna just have that turned on. I'm not gonna do anything else with that scene right now, I'm gonna use it in other places. Now, in the smart app section, I already have the smart lighting app added if you don't, you have to hit that add a smart app at the bottom and then just find it. But I'm gonna go into smart lighting here. Once in smart lighting, you can see I already have three different automations going on. I have an activate going to bed at 11, watching TV at night at sunset, and I'm turning on my table lamp when motion starts. That's an early morning thing. So I already have those set up. If you were just getting started, you wouldn't have any of those. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new lighting automation here. Inside the new lighting automation here, I'm gonna add my bedroom lamp one. And you can also do it by scene. So I'm going to add in my reading time. So you can choose to do it by device or by scene. So we know that the reading time scene 
already has the bedroom lamp in it. So I'm gonna remove bedroom lamp from the devices I wanna control. Now you gotta decide how you wanna trigger the action. Now you can see all the different ways you can do this, but you know what? We're only gonna need a bedroom lamp at sunrise. So I'm gonna go ahead, put it in at sunrise and the SmartThings hub knows when sunrise triggers for your area here. So I'm gonna go ahead, click next. That new lighting automation, as soon as I hit save here, is all ready to go. So now my light will automatically turn on in the evening at sunrise. Now I'm gonna jump into one of my existing ones. It's going to bed at 11. Now you can see that it's using the scene going to bed at 11 p.m. at night. So with that in mind, let's head over to our scenes again, and I'm gonna go into the settings for the going to bed. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and hit add devices in my going to bed scene, and I'm gonna add in bedroom lamp one. And now you can see the status is on, so I'm actually gonna tap on bedroom lamp one and change the device state to off. So there you go, now I have the light coming on with my reading time scene and my lighting automation, turning that light on at sunrise and then turning off at 11 p.m. Now moving over to routines here, I already have two routines set up called night lighting on and night lighting off. Again, at the bottom of this list, if you wanted to, you could just create a new routine. These are the ones that you can kind of use as push buttons. You can also add them in to other parts of your automation. But for now, I'm going to edit the details on my night lighting on routine. You can see I'm turning on these lights or switches and I've already added in my bedroom lamp. If you wanted, you could take it out, but it's already in there. You can see that the dimmers are at 50% as well in that automation. Now, you can see with my night lighting off, I'm actually activating the scene going to bed, so I'm just using that scene to turn everything off. Now, I'm gonna add a routine here quickly just so you can see the method you have to use to add a routine. So, I'm just calling this testing routine. I could activate scenes or I could activate lights, so I'm just gonna turn on my bedroom lamp one. You can see you can also do a lot of other things. You can change your smart home security system, all kinds of things based on that button being hit, but that's not really the purpose of this. Now, we essentially have completed our automation. Now, we've essentially completed our automation of this bulb. What I'm gonna show you now are ways to add it to different parts of your phone. So I'm gonna head down to the bottom to the more section, and right here in the my account section, you can also hit the manage widget, and this is what shows up on your iPhone's home screen or your phone's home screen. Now heading over to the dashboard, you can manage the favorites and you can add in the device or the routine. So I'm gonna add in my night lighting off and on routines here for a demo. Now with this, you can see I'm just using the thing to actually turn on and off the light here. And now here's me using the night lighting on routine. And then I'll go ahead and use the night lighting off routine. So there you go. Okay, so now that we have Samsung SmartThings connected to our singled bulb, let's go ahead, let's get Samsung SmartThings and the Google Home or your Google Home Mini connected. Let's go right into the Google Home application here, and we're gonna head right into the Home Control section in your menu. Now as that comes up, you're gonna see the devices you already have set up here. I have a few, I have a few Philips devices and some Wemo devices here set up already. And as you scroll down, you're gonna run into something called Samsung Smart Home. Now, that's a bit of a trick here, actually. That's not what you're looking for. If you go into it, it'll seem like you're doing everything right. It'll seem like you've linked your accounts, but actually it won't work for Samsung Smart Things. So, what you do have to find is the Samsung Smart Things which is much further down the list. It's called SmartThings slash Samsung Connect. So when you head in there, you'll need to sign in 
with your account that you use to set up your smart things hub and once you've done that you're going to need to authorize google to access your samsung smart things basically so you have to choose the hub if you had multiple samsung smart things hubs this is where it would show up and then you have to click authorize once you've done that you've effectively connected these two devices now for me i actually had to come in and out of the home control section before the whole list would come into my home control so i had to go out come back in through the menu now that we have your Google Home or your Google Home Mini connected up with Samsung Smart Things, we have Samsung Smart Things connected to Sangled. Let's go ahead, let's go through the full process to make sure that you can control through your Google Home. And then, of course, I will give you a demo at the end. Now, I'm just going to skip back to my iPhone. I'm going to go back into Google Home, the application. We're going to go up to the top left and go down to home control. And what you'll see now that you've connected the two systems is that your single bulb, mine's called Bedroom Lamp One, it is in there. Now you could set a nickname, you could change it. You can see it's from Samsung Smart Things. You could also assign a room if you'd like to. Now I'm not going to do that in this case. The other thing that's in your Google Home home control list or the other things that get synchronized is actually the scene. So you can see the reading time scene here and you can do all the same things you could with the device itself, with the single bulb itself. So if you set a scene where you're triggering on multiple singled lights, you can use that and simply ask Google to turn on that scene. Now what's important to keep in mind with scenes and your connection that you've created here whenever you're trying to trigger on light bulbs you're still going to have to ask Google Home to turn on that scene now if your scene is actually turning off all of the light bulbs you still have to ask Google Home to turn on that scene so just keep that in mind you're not actually going to ask it to turn off a scene you're going to create a second scene that turns off all of the light bulbs that you want. So let's go ahead, let's do a demo here. I'm gonna show you what that looks like just from a control standpoint with your Google Home. Hey Google, turn on reading time. You got it, activating the reading time. Hey Google, turn off bedroom lamp one. Okay, turning bedroom lamp one off. Hey Google, Turn on bedroom lamp one. Okay, turning bedroom lamp one on. Hey Google. Turn on going to bed. Okay, activating the going to bed. All right, well there you go. Now obviously you can connect just your sangled bulbs to your Samsung SmartThings hub and start the control in an automated fashion through Samsung SmartThings. But I did show you today how to take that one step further. Of course, for those of you who have an Echo in your home, you can take it another step further with that as well. Of course, everyone, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.